Welcome back. It is I, the Hobgoblin. We're back to control. Um. Sorry, I start starting the timer and I clicked the wrong button. It is um dumb. The hotline should be in the communications department. Oh, we have a list. Origin of the Hiss. Where did the Hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the Hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you <laughs> on that, Emily. <laughs> yeah, don't destroy the shitty world outside. That'd be so sad. What is the oldest... Oh, wait. Oh, look. It, it grays it out when it's been said. What is the oldest house? You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Hmm. So then how do you all come to work? Do you just live here then? Never leave? Director Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's what? just a hypothesis on my part. That's I need insane. the gun to research it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Objects of power. Can you tell like me what an object of power gun. is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? So I can use Got objects it. of power. Thanks. Or objects of power can be used by us, but the AWEs are like entities. Hedron resonance amplifiers. Yes. Is that so the thing HR you're wearing? Stop you from becoming hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. You think he knew this shit was gonna go down? Fuck! Thanks, Emily. I'm sure Goodbye. I'll have my questions soon. Just let me know. You got it. Time to run away. Enter the communications department to find the hotline. Do I have a map?
There it is again. Our welcome message. What is this? Energy plus five percent. Nah, I'm good. Looks like this is the only way to go. Travel costs. Summary visited the following Nevada accommodations Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, In and Out, Aztec Court, Sleep E Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge, Exp Expenditures, Accommodation $831.29. Meals seven hundred fourteen dollars eighty four cents. Gasoline two hundred ninety five dollars twelve cents. Mini bar three hundred thirteen dollars sixty one cents. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road. Agent L. Hines. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Material. We won't keep looking at that. <laughs> I can shut them up. Nice. See what's going on down here. Oh, okay. Sexual reality behind this reality, you must walk these waves to drag you 
unstable area notice. Please be aware, due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart, green, stable. Yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. What the hell is this? Hiss barrier. The Hiss resonance field is a physical impediment impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede, escape, or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of Hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the Hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the Hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file redacted for full report. Wait, 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 wait. If I called them the Hiss, why is the Hiss written on this summary? Wait, 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 wait. It says by order of director Jesse Faden. Isn't that me? Excuse me, did I write that? There's a shelter over there. Havana Summary An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Redacted deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Event Response Bureau agents arrived at the Embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experience sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off, and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After formula, let's say 1.9, was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file A185 for details. I didn't write that one, so... Oh, ow, ooh, ee. No, that doesn't do anything. Ow! Do anything about this? Wait. Um, I pick up all the health things.
4K, that killed me real fast. No fucking way I'm right here. That's open. There it is again. Our welcome message. Wait, is it? It is. It's open. <gasps> I do have a map. Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't see that the first time. Okay, so there's nobody that wants to combat me. And I guess that that saves that bit. I have to go... My mission is this way. So then wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's the door I saw earlier, right? Yeah. So then, what is the direction of this? Excuse me? There's something up there? How the hell do you get up there? So then what's this way? I do not know. Ow, ow, ooh, and yep, yeah, no. Nope. You nope. don't want me anywhere gotcha. near it. With you on that. Understood. Going this way. Just gonna follow the main mission. You got it. Don't worry. I know where I need to be. Dead letters. Machine God. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God. But not the God you know, or the ones anyone knows. A new god. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me, because I'm not crazy at all. I used the motor from the refrigerator, because, <laughs> you know, what, why not? And the coils from my toaster, and the fans, plus the timing belt from my car's engine. Yeah, you don't need that. And the wheels from my son's skateboard, because... Fuck him. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine's instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. I'm sure his son was thrilled to find his skateboard missing its fucking wheels. This room looks scary. Pop. What is this? Singing fish. My. What is that? My governor? My governor? Is that how you spell governor? Mr. Governor, 
Oh, okay. It's name. Whoops. I thought that said my. I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem, and you gotta send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button. But it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish and you gotta come handle it. My wife is real upset. Upset. That says real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. Sounds like your fish just wants to be free. So let it the fuck out of the house. Trench. Dead letter approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. Letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but fuck it, I want to read them. But even the er erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartlow. Yeah, man, read your fucking letters. Enjoy them. Do as you're told. Don't eat mold. What the fuck? Who the fuck is eating mold? What idiot is just like, mmm, mold? Whoops, I need to hit that. Holy mother. You wanna come by me again? A shield? What the fuck? Excuse me? Fuck. I don't see stairs. How you gonna get to me, huh? You bitch. I see stairs now. <laughs> I win. Mm. And shattered. Oh, it's a weapon mod. Wait, 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 wait. Uh huh. What does this do? Exclusive to shatter? I don't know what that even is. What is shatter? What is that? I don't, I don't know what shatter is. Am I missing something that allows me to have shatter?
Oh shit. There's a door back there. Communications department. Sounds like the place I need to be. TV? Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing what, what, what is this angle? 80 kilobytes. Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we've, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Did it break? Did you break the cup? Did you waste a perfectly good mug for, I don't know, coffee? Soup? Tea? I don't eat soup in a mug. Don't ask why I said that. Fucking clean this shit up! Don't be a square. Be a circle. And roll over your enemies. Yes. I can't change outfits in this one, but I can fast travel from this point. Fucking fuck you can't go in that door. Do what I want. Go in all the doors. This is my door now. Bitch. Nothing fucking in here. Communications. We're on the right track. We don't want to go that way. This is where we came from, 100%. Recognize. Can't go in there, so. Fuck it. Hola, I am here. You people don't clean up your damn messes. You fucking animals. Look at this. Look, look, look at all this damn juice on the floor. Stop spilling the beverages. They cost money. This is a bathroom. Very interesting location to have a bathroom. Which way am I going? Can I... How do you work the fucking map? This is it? This is what I got? You spin me right round, baby, right round. How do you... Oh, I see. I see. Wait, I have a collectible. I have a multimedia. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's that TV thing, I bet. This does not take us to where we need to... What the fuck? My God. The mail room does not look like it's doing good. Bullshit in this room, like the other room. 
Book Club Samson. Uh, Book Club Notes for Penny by L. Samson. So, I don't usually need a lot of sci-fi or read a lot of sci-fi. But as far as space operas go, this was alright. God, Heartburn always attacks me in my videos. The title, unless you could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns, space hippies, or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday. Mmm, I like sushi. I don't like fish, but sushi is an exception. I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade City Planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms, and that space dog fight between those two ace pilots, sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly he his death didn't feel necessary at all this is page two of five okay my dude where are you at if your love letters for this movie is in here. Are you him? An object of power. Looks like the kiss of last oh, God. It. You need to cleanse it. Unknown caller? What? Wait. Excuse me? I thought we were going... Oh, it moved. I don't understand this map. Is the gray... Is the light gray areas where I've been and the dark gray areas where I have been and the blue... The, 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 the blue... The bluish areas? Uh... Like... Oh, wait. I'm standing in this blue area. I don't understand the map. So the wait. The objective changed. The other objective was up like that way somewhere over there. Unfortunately, we don't have time for this in this adventure. So we'll deal with it next time. Until then, uh, goodbye.